Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to make a colorful Minecraft title like we have right here for Minecraft Bedrock. Let's go ahead and switch over to the hard drive right now, and we'll get that set up. Okay, start by making a new folder on your hard drive. I just made one here on my C drive that I called Bedrock Title. It can be anything you want. Just give yourself a place to work in. Now, I have a file here, pack icon PNG. This is one that I made. You can also set up the first folder here and name it Textures. Okay, we now need to get the vanilla resource pack, and for that, we're going over here to a website. This is minecraft.net, and I'll put a link for this in the description. And then scroll down the page, and right down here, middle section, right there, you want to click on this and then download this new resource pack. And I'll download it into my same working folder right here. Just choose Save, and there we go. Okay, we're done with this web page. That can go away. And there's a resource pack. Let's now open this thing up. I'm just going to right click on this, and I'll open a new window. There we go. Now, in here, a couple things you need. First, you need to have this manifest JSON. I'm going to right drag it over here and copy into the working folder. And then we need the pack icon PNG, and that's right down here. This is the default one, and it's just a square image at 256 by 256. Nothing special about that. You can use that if you want to. I'll be using my own, which is right here. Okay, that's all taken care of. Now we need to get that graphic. That's inside of the textures folder right here. Double click on that. Come down to UI right here. Double click on that. Scroll way down. I'm just going to change my view here to large icons. Scroll real fast. And it's right there. Just right drag it over here and copy. And there's that title. Okay, we're now done with that. You can delete this if you want to. Okay, now we need to modify this to change the color. I'll be using a program called paint.net. It's a free download. I'll put a link for that in the description. And it's a great way to edit this kind of file. I'll go ahead and I'll bring that up. Here we go, it's in the background. Here's our working folder. And then just take the title file, just drag it over here and choose open. And that brings it right into the program like that. And I'll just make it a little bit smaller here so you can see that. There we go. We now need to get our graphic for going on top. Let me open that up. You can use any graphic that you want. I already have one here that I've used and that's this thing right here. Just kind of an interesting background. I found this online. Okay, let's go ahead, we'll copy this. Edit, come down to select all. There we go, and then edit copy. Let's now switch back over here to our Minecraft file right there and then edit paste into new layer and choose keep canvas size and then just drag a corner here or a side and make it a little bit larger. You can now move this thing around and make it just look that you want and I think having that right in the middle just like that looks pretty good. Okay that's taken care of and then do an edit and deselect. There we go. Okay let's hide that layer just for a second. Come down to our background layer we now need to select the letters out of here. And for that, I'll use the magic wand right here and just click into these sections. Now, if it's doing this, if it's just moving like that, go up here, click on this button. This is the add button. We can now just come in and click each one of these. We'll then add that to the selection and go through and click each one of those sections. Sometimes it'll go all in. Sometimes you have to add a few more just like that. There we go. And get the F and the T. There's our selection. Let's now switch back to our layer two here and show that layer again. Now we need to have the outside selected and not the inside selected. So go up here again to edit and come down to invert selection. It's now the outside is selected. Then just hit the delete key and there we go. We've now added that color onto the title. It's that easy to do. I'm gonna make it a bit brighter. So let's go up here to adjustments and come down to brightness contrast. And I'll set the brightness up to about 25, just make it a bit more exciting in here. There we go. And i bring the contrast up just a little bit. Choose OK. That's not bad. OK, now let's go ahead. I'll just save it again. There we are. Let's now do a Save As, File, Save As. And you want to save this as the PNG format. That's right there. See, there's our original. But you want to save this right there. Just choose Save, choose Yes. And it replaces that. Click OK and click Flatten. And there we go, that's taken care of. And that's everything we need to do here inside of paint.net, that's done. And we'll close this out. Okay, so here we go. The title PDN, this is the paint.net file, because you wanna go back and do more work later. And here's the actual working file, title.png. Now let's go into textures. In here, make a new folder, name it UI. Let's go into that. I have my sample here, I'll just delete that one. So we have our textures and then UI. Let's go back to our title, and then take the PNG file, and just drag it over here into the textures. Go inside of here and drag it into UI. Double check. There we go. That's all set. We now need to edit the manifest JSON file right here. I have mine opening up in a program called Notepad++. Again, it's a free download and it's a great program for editing this kind of JSON file. To get this set so you can open up your JSON file inside of Notepad++, right click, come down, click on Open With, 
and then find your program. If you don't see your program here, click on more apps and then do a search to find your program. If you're not seeing it in this list, click down here and you can find it that way. Okay, mine's all set now to open up. I'll just double click. Here we go. Now inside of here, just a couple of things we have to change. First, let's change the description right there. I'll call this one custom title like that and I'll select this right click copy and right down here it says name I'm just going to paste it and down here it says description as well we'll do the same thing paste it here make sure that you don't lose those quotation marks or any commas or anything else just change just the words in there now I have these two UUID codes there's one here and there's one right down here we need to change this number just a little bit I'm just going to add six onto the end here I'll make that an eight and I'll add six down here makes this 25 there we go if you're making multiple packs, keep in mind what number you added on here and just make it a different number each time because these have to be different for every single one of your installed resource packs. They're kind of like license plates. And then it lets Minecraft know that this is a different resource pack from something else. That's all that is. Okay, choose save and that's done. We have our pack icon PNG. Again, this is one that I made. It's just a square image, 256 by 256 and PNG. That's all it is. Anything you want is fine. Okay, I'll select these. Click on share and click on zip. There we go. I'll give it a name. Custom title. We now need to change the dot zip part. If you're not seeing the dot zip, go up here to view and right here, click on file name extensions. Just check that and you can then see that dot zip. There we go. So click it once and then type over that and make it say MC pack. Choose yes. And you should see the icon change to the Minecraft icon. There we go. Now make sure that Minecraft is not running and then double click this to launch Minecraft and load in this pack. Double click, load this in. Now this icon right here, that title, will not be changing with this. We're only changing the one that's at the title screen and that's this title here. Look for import started up here, wait for it to say success. There we go, successfully imported, that's done. It's now installed. Okay, come down here where it says settings and in here, let's scroll down where it says global resources, where it says my packs. You should now see your pack right here. I'll choose activate. Double check active, there it is, that's fine. Go back to settings, it's gonna load the resource pack, there it is, and that changes the color of the title. So we now have our custom Minecraft title up here at the title screen, and that's all there is to it. Okay, and I'll see you next time.